Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to King Harp's channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm going to give y'all talk. Subscribe. Some of these talks are going to be quick and simple and quaint and right to the point. And some of them going to be strategic and really thought out. I'm going to continue. So subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and continue to share and subscribe. I'm doing sound bites and I'm going to keep can catapult to other things. Here we go. I'm now going to make relevance on my end, and which I have, to the fact that we have the society's attention, even though they're trying to ignore us, and all the sectors of black people shouting, which it's in different sectors. We got us over here in an astute pol political way, talking about what really is the solution and how to work this out. And we got BLM, which has tried to be co-opt and everybody don't understand how to do politics but yet they are protesting but this is all in different sectors uh the nation of islam is talking every descendant of slave is speaking in some different arena in terms of us now the church is talking but they're not really speaking in terms of politics because they are so anchored in uh, religion and the benevolence of what they think Christ is, and he is benevolent, but he's also a warrior. He stood for people. So we got to get the church's attention, and then we will, in a big fashion way. This is what, let me give a, a shout out to slave descendants. We are now, you know, uh, basically letting the country know that it's time. I mean, and with Breonna Taylor's death and this execution and then how the police officers were set free and then things are leaked after the grand jury decided to um, just give those white men uh, freedom of those boys, police officers. I'll say that because, you know, they they're definitely doing that. After all of this, we realize they kind of realize they do kind of realize now that they're putting themselves in the light. There's no more hiding. It's definitely blatant that there's some uh, evil and unrealistic and unlawful tactics in government and the magistrate concerning black people and descendants of slavery in this in this country. And now we can see it face over and it's transparent in another level. So we need that. And it's the fact that someone had to lose their life or. Well, we said all that in the beginning, that people will have to do that, which we don't want. But this is how just how in depth are it is and how it is with stubborn these people are as uh, key holders and white supremacists to things that they owe people or groups and the slave descendants mainly, mostly anyway, one group. And they just want to keep something that doesn't belong to them. And that's the exercise of true freedom and business opportunity and the exercise of being a people of respect. They don't want us to be a people of respect in terms of what we have been made to be in the society coming from slavery and as a slave. And this is for my ancestors as a slave and as a person of the descendant of a slave. So now they realize that we're demising the public and a people that uh, is very important to the society, slowly but surely, because we're standing and we're seeing things that comes that way and not a whole country. And the society is uh, seeing the evidence and it's blatant in your eyes. So therefore, there's no more constant hiding these uh, tactics, these racial tactics in the courts and in government. So we stand and we yet stand and I'm congratulating us and just, you know, we should just keep going, but keep understanding that politics is very important with this, but it will shape itself and we will continue to talk. But I just want to stop and congratulate and, and let us know that we're doing the right thing and that those who are young or old have to understand that the majority of us will be talking. We will be talking and we will be um basically ringing the bell whether it's on the internet whether it's in our businesses or on the streets at the grassroots and in terms of being the people and understanding the science of who the people are we control politics we rule government we are the support of government we're the apparatus of government we uphold the institution 
we uphold the posture of government and city officials. And when we get ready to organize and take that away you're, or, or give it what we wanted to have, you're not going to be able to shape that because we are the people. Thank you for joining me. My name is King Harp. Subscribe to my channel. And the United States government cut the check.